fandom. If it's sore, I feel as if it would be consensually celebrated and easier to digest even for people who aren't a fan of Kingdom Hearts, as he was such a popular and justifiable candidate for so many years. But if I had to choose just one out of the characters we've discussed, despite the licensing troubles that may be on the table, I'd have to go with Sora. So, wow. In a fantastic reveal trailer. I mean, that was incredible. I love that. We got our last character for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate this morning, which was weird. It, it threw me off that it was in the morning. Uh, I'm just now getting in to have an initial reaction. Um, but it was Sora. Sora from Kingdom Hearts, like myself and many others um, predicted. I had seen some videos um, leading up to today saying that it was leaked. I didn't watch any of that, so I, I don't even know if it was already known that Sora would be the last fighter. I mean, of course, I knew off of, you know, speculation. I thought, I really felt, especially with Final Fantasy characters like Cloud and Sephiroth, I thought it wasn't that much of a stretch. Of course, the only thing in the way would be licensing with Disney, which is a huge, huge, huge thing that that got through. But um, initial reactions is just, man, that was a beautiful reveal trailer it was like four minutes long um and it was really i don't want to say poetic because that's that's a forced notion but just referencing what we saw in the very 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 first um reveal for smash ultimate all the way back where it was you know the splatoon fake out um and just seeing all the characters all every single one of them all gather around and for for that last reveal and you know Sora you know being Disney and and of Kingdom Hearts is a it's a magical effect to his, his character so I just think they put that together perfectly I, I didn't even get to watch the full um, Sakurai presents because I'm just now getting in to have a reaction I ducked off um, to see the uh, the reveal who it was and then that was all I saw but man obviously the first question is what now because <laughs> we've been having these reveals these fighter packs since what was this year three year four do you want to count this as year four 18 19 20 21 um and honestly I thought the fighter pass would be something that would just go on forever and it kind of just push it like mario kart 8 where you know they really don't have any incentive to make a new game because it's going to continue to sell it's really the definitive version of the series um but that wasn't the case they said this is it and we got sora and i'm satisfied i know a lot of people aren't satisfied i'm not a kingdom hearts guy i haven't played um, any Kingdom Hearts just being truthful about it, but I understand how important that series is in gaming. A lot of people who grew up during the 2000s, that was a, that's, that was a big game, a big franchise um, during that period and, and beyond. And I really thought it would, was perfect reasoning to have him join the, the game. I know a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of more far-fetched stuff. I caught the the Doom guy deconfirmation. I thought that was hilarious that that was even acknowledged. Um, especially out of the pool of characters that were left to choose. Like, I know some people are still really pissed that Crash didn't even get a, a look. Um, you know, for me, I, I didn't get my, my secondary Sonic character, but... At, at this point, you know, it doesn't even really matter. Um, but the big question is, what is next for Smash? Because if this is it, I know it, it, it can't be it for the franchise. That is just, as even if Sakurai himself wanted some beautiful closure on, that, on the series, um, which I think that was some beautiful closure, that, that cinematic. 
but even if he wanted it, Nintendo's not letting that happen. It's literally one of their most successful franchises that they have ever surfaced. Um, and I'm sure whenever in the future we see a Switch predis- uh, successor, I'm sure there will be a smash for that at some point. It, it's it's going to continue. It might be a, a case of like changing of the guards where they kind of hand over the responsibility to another studio. And that would be a whole nother discussion because, you know, I, you can't see anybody other than Sakurai and, 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 and his his teams working on on that game but it's interesting because it 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 it, it, i really wonder like what comes next for smash i really think that smash ultimate was really the ultimate (laughs) smash unironically because think about it All the characters are there. They gave us a a ton more. They really jumped the shark. You know, in my Brawl, in my Melee and Brawl video, I talked about how um, Brawl set the stage for the series to jump the shark. But Ultimates really was pushing the limits, man. I mean, you go back to the Smash 4 days and tell me like, ah, Minecraft Steve and, and, you know, Drag, hero from Dragon Quest and, and all that and, and all those newer editions would make it I'd, I'd laugh you know you you have a picture take a screenshot of Steve from from the game and show it to somebody in in 2013 they it, it looked like a, a a stupid Photoshop and there is a fire truck going down the street this is the wonder of uncut <laughs> videos ladies and gentlemen but um man it sucks because the smash the smash reveal formula was just so entertaining for these last few years even back to you know smash 4 and if you want to push it even back to brawl when you know the sonic reveal and the snake reveal but it really got the viral aspect of it back in smash 4 and ultimate, you know, it just kept going and going. We kept getting new characters from Banjo and you know, Steve and 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 Min Min and and Terry and and all of those reveals, and they were all fantastic, uh, you know, cutscenes. And it, it's it kind of just sucks that it's over. It's like it, it, you're glad it happened, but other than you know, if if I couldn't acknowledge the Sakurai aspect of it, like this man is exhausted (laughs) that man is exhausted he put all his career into smash into the smash series i know other than being a kirby guy you know that's his that's that's what he's going to be remembered for you know being the smash godfather but you know i'm sure he's ready to just you know finally be done and and move on to something else because you know it's been 20 it's been over two decades And, you know, as nice as it would be to hand it over to somebody else and have them keep it, keep, keep it going. You know, it's tasking programming these characters. The programming for for Steve had to been ridiculous. You know what I mean? And that was a year ago at this point. And so it's, it's, it's interesting because they could have easily just kept adding and adding and adding characters. It, It was, it's already a ridiculous roster. You know, they could have pushed it all the way to 100 and nobody would bat an eye because every time it was a new Smash character, the, the gaming world would, would stop and, and tune in, you know? So, but Sora, at just acknowledging Sora and Smash as in a whole, um, like I said, you know, it's what me and many people guessed. It's a fantastic pick. I, I don't know why a lot of people think he, he won't translate. It's like, if Minecraft Steve could translate, I'm not questioning Smash anymore, man. Um, Sora's gonna be great. And, you know, like all the other characters that are added, it gives people incentive to visit those games and understand their importance and why they're being represented in this game, in, in this game, this game being Smash, why they're represented in this game, um, to begin with, because that's what smash is it's a wonderful celebration 
of the most important characters in video games you know you know back then it was just you know the most important characters to nintendo but now it's bigger than that man you know mega man and pac-man and ryu you know what i'm saying steve i keep i keep talking about steve steve um you know sora cloud it it's it's all very important and that because that's the 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 gist of smash it's it's a unique fighter it's a fun multiplayer game but the whole care the whole character of the game is this is the most unfathomable video game crossover of all time and um i don't think it could have been capped off properly with another nintendo ip you know so it, it, it was it really was third party or bust and i think and like i had said in my prediction video i really think that's the biggest way you could go out because there were other characters there are way more outlandish characters but the thing about Sora was that yes he's plausible you know yes he's been requested for years and i mean years that's why the splash screen was Sora is finally here because <laughs> people have been holding out for this for a long time but the biggest part of it was that the question the question that was hanging in the air was how do you get this character disney is a well-known stalwart <laughs> when it comes to licensing when it comes to anything you know disney is just feared like that's that's the big mouse upstairs so you know nintendo handling that or coming to an agreement um was just you know you you love to see it and and kind of like my reaction with uh kazuya <laughs> I, I pray I'm, I'm saying it right because I, I always get dyslexic when I say his name. The, the the representative for Tekken, when he was revealed, I was like, I, you know, you can't be mad at it because Tekken is a r important franchise in gaming, in fighting, in the fighting genres is arguably the second most important one, second or third behind um, Street Fighter and and Mortal Kombat, and I guess Smash itself. So fourth, <laughs> but it. it it's cinema and and now that i think about it in the direct from last week was that last week it was two weeks ago at this point the direct from two weeks ago when they had showed that they were remastering that nintendo that disney game and it was like a letter f with wings that that was on purpose that was a very strategical cutscene to put into the um that reveal that that was being remade that was intentional <laughs> and uh I, I some people picked up on that but i was like yeah, that's just a coincidence but uh, that but that might be intentional because you know they, these characters get put into action way before they ever even get teased so but yeah Soars and Smash, and that's it. This is the end. We're at the end of the road. End of the road of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC. Let me know what you think about his addition. Um, and let me know what care. What do you think is next for, for Smash? Not only what do you think is next for Smash as a series, but what were some of the characters, you know, Reach or not, that you, you wish you could have saw in Smash Ultimate? I'm still not letting go on uh, Shadow the Hedgehog, you know. I, I held out for that for years, but you know, at the end of the day, yeah, I'm, you can't be mad at it. You, you give the people what they want, and, and people want it sore for a long time. But uh, yeah, that being said, I got a new video coming in. Um, hopefully by the end of this week, it's, it's going to be a doozy. It, it's a long, long video on, on Nintendo games, so look out for that. Um, if you enjoyed the video, <laughs> I don't know how, because I'm just... I, the rambles are our rambles it's just disconjointed thoughts but uh, if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe we're almost at we're really we're getting to 1k i want to hit 1k by the end of the year you know it's been crazy getting all this to to come together um and uh as always if you made it to the end of the video i truly truly appreciate you good game 
Take care. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs> see, I did the outro this time. I didn't do it the last time. <laughs> oh, man.